What's going on, BC? BC, vinyl community. A bunch of vinyl record collectors have one or two hanging around here. Sometimes I forget people outside of the VC watch VC videos. So VC is vinyl community. But those of you in the know know that. It's LJ and Albert King kicking it on a midweek night. Now, this video is about an entirely different acronym. It's about VCLT, or Vinyl Community Love Train. You know, a fella strolls home, glances down at his doorstep, and sees a package. That's VCLT, Vinyl Community Love Train. Somebody decided to send somebody a record, hence VCLT. This one is from Maggie, 1204 Willow, here in the vinyl community. Everybody knows Maggie, but if you don't, check her out. And it's to LJ, that's me. So why not grab a knife and open it? So what's inside? Sometimes we know, sometimes we don't. In this case, it was just a couple of weeks ago that MibberTube, Mark, had sent me just an outstanding VCLT package. One of the records inside was one I had been looking for for years and years and years. So difficult to track down in the U.S. And it was a copy of Danzig's second, and in my opinion, best album, Lucifuge. It was just an, an absolute <gasps> moment to be holding this in my hands, and, and I hope that translated onto video. Now, shortly thereafter, Maggie sent me a PM, and she mentioned that for the longest time, she's been trying to track down a copy of that album, which was just absolutely amazing and completely unnecessary, but that she had also succeeded. I felt so bad at that moment. Now, on the upshot, she mentioned that it was actually a different pressing. So now, while I normally won't keep multiple copies of one album around her in the main collection, there's some duplicates. I will definitely collect different pressings because it's a different pressing. So let's crack it open and see what's inside. Here is a note. Second. Very nice note, Maggie. Thank you. I feel exactly the same way. And honestly, I can't wait to see this. Oh, here we go. Goodbye, package. So here is Danzig's Lucifuge. Now, what she mentioned was this was a limited edition pressing. I really haven't done any reading up on it, so I don't know if it's official or unofficial. It really doesn't matter. It's still just one of those albums that if the band would just reissue it legitimately on their own, they'd sell droves. Now, one thing I do notice inside that was not in the original, here is an insert. So it has the lyrics on the back, uh, On the Road 1989, The Blood and Tours 1990, so some cool artwork there. And she mentioned it was on colored vinyl, which uh, I can see already through the sleeve, and that's just sweet. So this is on blue vinyl. I don't know if the light will catch that, but that looks fantastic. beyond stoked you know it's it's kind of crazy how life works sometimes you spend years and years and years wanting any copy of, of one particular album it eludes you and you have to chase it down and then in just two weeks through the generosity of two amazing people you end up with two copies and both are completely different so Maggie thank you so much for the generosity just knowing that you had even spent any time chasing this down for me and wanted it to add it to my collection is just amazing. Everybody, thanks for watching. Maggie, thank you again so much, and take care, everyone. See you in the next video. Later.